Alright guys, Andy here, welcome to a medieval blacksmith tutorial, this is going to be block by block, I'll show you the ingredients for this in just a second. It's a starter medieval house, the blocks are easy and simple to get, like spruce, like stone, cobblestone, stone bricks and andesite. We, and I say we, Blue Nerd Minecraft has teamed up with me, we're making this beautiful village it's a starter medieval village with all the same sort of blocks all the same sort of style very easy accessible and simple to build hey check out the playlist in the description because episodes one three and five are by me and two four six are by blue nerd minecraft it's a joint project little look around this place let me show you what we've done and I love this blacksmith, I really do. There's plenty of space in here. Then we're going to do a tutorial block by block on how to build this quenching bucket, bellows. We've got a furnace, we've got anvils, uh, plenty of room out here to work, plenty of room on the inside, a huge roaring fireplace, little places maybe where you could have some closet space. Uh, maybe in here you could have um, somewhere to poop, I don't know. <laughs> You've got that as well. You've got uh, some staircases back here as well and plenty of room up here as well with a little balcony over here and another tower which you could put a bell or a light or something like that a lookout plenty of room up here another balcony back here with some great views over the village awesome there's a library by blue yoda blue yoda <laughs> blue nerd he's coming coming soon on the playlist <laughs> Ah, Blue Yoda, I'm losing the plot, I'm losing the plot. And then you've got a little back entrance here as well, which is pretty cute. Maybe just actually just do that, looks pretty smart as well. And then you go, oh, ah, yeah, um. So here is the ingredients list. This is what you're going to need to build your blacksmith. Pause the video if you need to. Cobblestone is blue, stone brick is red and purple is going to be stone first of all we're going to go four down two cross one up by three to form this little shape here it looks like a little saucepan it's six blocks long and we need to add on another 12 just cobblestone to start with here then we're going to add on 10 more blocks down the way to make 11 in total so we've got the corner block plus 10 more down the way. Then we're going to switch to purple on my key, which is actually stone. Come up by one, and we're going to go one, two, three with stone. Gap of two, and then seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Back to blue in my key, which is, of course, cobble. One block right there. And then up in a little L shape like that, with three blocks, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, up there in total, six verticals. Then one, two, three, one, two, and then another seven across the way like that. Perfect. Now I'm going to go for some stone bricks. This is going to be red, should be red in my key, I would have thought. And the stone bricks are going to go just there. That's two of them to start with, but I'm actually going to need a few more. We're going to place them round like that. And my diagram is now lacking, lacking behind. Come on, diagram. Catch up, please, diagram. Why did I make them purple? They should have been red. <laughs> I'm not going back to change it. <laughs> There we go. I was going to make those red. Never mind. The whole point of having red in the key. We want to make that bottom section there seven across, and then we're going to come up by ten in total. Sorry, six across at the bottom, and then up by ten. And then make a little tower like that, a little three by three tower. Up by three. Cross by three, and then this is a little kind of a back porch area here. We're going to go up by three. And then in here, we're going to go up two and come across by two like that. And that is the rather complicated foundation. Okay, we're going to start with the blacksmith's work yard. So grab yourself some bricks uh, of slabs and full blocks, hay, nether rack. We'll come back for these blocks. Let's grab right now a campfire. You're also going to need something to light your nether rack. So this is going to be the furnace in the corner. One, 
one, two, three, one, one, two, three, like that. Bring it round like that, like that, like that, and like that. And there you go. There's the corner of the furnace right at the back. Hay, hay bale. The nether rack there, which is going to get uh, lit up. And this is going to generate the smoke right there, kind of disguised. So I like that kind of way of doing things. Bring the bricks all the way around the sides like that. And you want two layers of them. Um, three layers of bricks in total. At the front here, we're going to make a little kind of a overhang like that and that's where you would put all your tools to make them hotter when you are the blacksmith uh, we do want to have some blocks coming straight up the way and that's going to be forming our chimney and those blocks are going to be in those positions there, forming around the campfire like that around that we're going to place some stairs like that overlap them there Bring them round like that and then finish it off there and finish it off there. Now we can bring these blocks up one more like that. Then we could put bricks on like that. Brick stairs. And that is us pretty much finished. We're going to go for a slab right there, which looks all right. And then more stone bricks on top there like that. And that is our furnace in the corner. One other thing I've started to do is to put on these smooth stone slabs just to finish off the top. Bit of a decorative top. I like that. It looks pretty smart. Right, let's do the tower, the fireplace and this tower next. So what I'm going to do is grab some uh, cobblestone and we want to make this tower 12 blocks tall in total. We're going to go for first of all three layers of cobble then three layers of andesite. How many is that? One, two, three. So that's six high in total. We need it to be 12 blocks high. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to add on stone like this. We're actually going to be knocking these ones out to form kind of a an open window, which you might want to do at that point. Might as well close it off at the top, bring these corners up and bring the middle up and then leave that little gap of two like that. And what we can do in that gap is put on this here, like a little ventilation tower or a bell tower or a watch tower like that. So that is 12 high. Uh, we're going to be blending these blocks into each other, spreading the, the andesite through the stone, spreading all these blocks through. Right now it's looking very stripy and uniform, but we're going to do the kind of a randomization process uh, towards the end of this build. Right, the fireplace needs to be... 11 blocks tall. So let's go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And that's going to help us to form the fireplace just in there like that. Right here is where the actual fire is going to go. So if I grab some nether rack again, that's where the fire is going to be right in there. In fact, that's probably where the campfire is going to go. Uh, I would say that the actual fireplace is probably going to be in there but we will actually make that a little bit later on when we're on the inside so that is three high i want to just keep on going up with this tower this is the chimney until we get to four and until we get to five like that one two three four five there's six and seven and at that point there i think we can yeah, let's add one more. So that's us at, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight height. I think now we can start to go one, two, like this. One, two, one, two, one, two. Um, in fact, we'll go even more. And I'm going to put upside down stone brick stairs, as long as I can get them into my inventory. There we go. Upside down stone brick stairs. There, there, there and there and our little campfire is going to sit just down there providing us with plenty of smoke and we'll put one right at the back there just to add to the smoke that's coming out the top of that fire so there is your fireplace now we have another tower to do uh, across the back here these towers are really kind of atmospheric i love them I really do so here are a little doorway entrance here and here is um, three levels of cobblestone. What we'll do now is we'll add on another three. In fact, let's add on four 
andesites. How many is that? One, two, three, four andesites. So we've got four and three. That makes seven. We want it to be 13 blocks high. So we need another six stones. One, two, three, four, five, six. And again, with this tower here, we're going to punch through uh, these little gaps here so that people can see out the top of the tower like that. Could be a watchtower, could be a bell tower, kind of up to your imagination. I just like the way they look. And there we go. Uh, once again, we could put uh, a little bit of detail in at this point with our spruce fences. There we go. Looking very smart indeed. So we've got towers, we've got chimneys, we've got um, furnaces complete. Next, we're going to build up the main body of this uh, house, the main body of the house. And it goes from this corner to that corner to there to there. Maybe I should have marked them out for you. That is the main body of the house. We're going to build it up to eight blocks high in total. So the first bit here is going to be, oh, we need to put a door in. So that's going to be the door right there. So the first bit is going to be cobblestone. Don't put anything on the gap just yet. In fact, let's go three layers of cobblestone. Um, at this point here, we can do this to make the actual door frame. So that's pretty cool. And then we can come around here, our third layer, like that. Boom, boom, boom. Very good. Oh, that's four. <laughs> no, let's go to andesite for our fourth layer. And in fact, this one can come over like that. This is like a little alcove here, a little storage alcove or something like that. Um, I can come around there like that. And I can come across there like that. And at that stage, do we come across? Yeah, I feel like we're going to come across here like that. I also want to have another, this is a long span to support. So what I'm going to do, I think opposite this tower here, we're going to make one, two, three, and this is going to actually be kind of a supportive pillar right in the middle of our build. So how many layers we've done so far? We've done one, two, three, four. We need to do eight in total. So let's have another couple of andesites all the way around. So you can see it's the main rectangle right in the middle of the house. And we've got that balcony to do. We've got that balcony to do, this kind of porchy entrance there, and this kind of little windowy alcove to do as well. So that's how many, that's uh, five. So let's go to six. Like that. Uh, let's switch into stone for our last two layers. There we go, beautiful stone. And how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more stone layer. Like this. Cool. Uh, at the very end here, we want to do one, two, three, four, five, and a one. And that um, block there, the corresponding block, we're actually going to put there and there. Like that. So there we go. Pretty cool. I did say I was going to do the yard, didn't I? <laughs> and then, and then, then I didn't do the yard. Um, yeah, okay. So let's do the yard just now. First of all, we're going to place um, grass there and grass there. And then we're going to get some stone stairs. And we're going to try and wrap these nicely round like that. And that forms like a kind of a really cool wee entrance. And I've realized a little mistake here. We need to pop that up to there because what we can do now is actually put in the flooring for this place. So I'm going to put in some oak flooring. Absolutely. Well, just about everywhere, actually. Let's go here and here. I think I did spruce flooring, actually, in my last time I built this, I put in spruce flooring. I'm going to go for something a little bit lighter this time. I'm going to go for some oak flooring absolutely everywhere. Apart from at the door here, I think that should definitely be some sort of stone. The rest of this can just be floored in like this. And there we go. Beautiful floor. Um, I guess my fireplace is a bit too low now. I guess my fireplace is definitely a bit too low. Never mind. Let's just bump that up and 
we'll increase the height of our campfire as well. Put in our floors. There we go. Cool. So, um, fireplace. We may as well tackle the fireplace just now. Let's um, remove these. Take away these. Hmm, what can we do? Let's go for definitely a whole pile of stone brick. Stone bricks like that. So let's go like that. Like that. That looks all right. Pretty good there. Um, and I guess we could do something like that. Super simple fireplace. This has not turned out as good as my last one. Hmm. Ah, I know. We could do that. Nope. That. Nope. That. Yes, that looks much better. That, I think, is pretty smart. I love these little things coming through on the corners. I think that's so cool. And then we could do that and that. I always just make up fireplaces as I go. Probably you can tell this. Um, can we do that, maybe? That's looking pretty smart. Yeah, I'm very, very happy with that indeed. Hopefully you can do yourself a similar fireplace. If you didn't manage to copy what I did there, I, I did go pretty fast. Hopefully you can copy that. I'm going to put them there. Um, I've got fire spread turned off, but do take care if you have got fire spread. You might want to do quite a bit of stone like that. We'll just add some iron bars around it. Great. Okay, so what we need to do now is all these um, balconies and kind of porches as well. Oh, and I keep forgetting, I was working <laughs> on this area in here, wasn't I? So this is going to be all just stone slabs or any slabs you want actually it could be andesite it could be anything you want down here and what i've done here is provide, provide a little space there for some kind of like smithing tables i need some anvils and these and what i do here is i just put put them on there like that they kind of just sit up nicely wherever I want them, something like that would do. So you've got maybe a grindstone, you've got an anvil, and then maybe you could grab a cauldron as well and make yourself a quenching bucket for cooling off the metal. Like that. And if you've got some fancy player heads, of course you could add them in as well. Okay, nice one. Okay, let's uh, build up this area right here. So we're gonna go like that. That's one layer, and I'm going to go another layer like that. So it's three blocks high in total, and then we're going to go for some stone just like that. And that's going to provide that little kind of fake uh, porch area here. And what we can do is put a little window, and the window is going to go, yeah, actually just right in there. We can actually just put the oak trap door like that. There we go, teeny tiny window. Right, now this balcony at the back here, beautiful balcony, at the back here, what we're going to do is build up another layer of cobblestone and then andesite. We only get to four layers high in total, so that's three. Here's the fourth. Once we've done the fourth, put in a corner block there, a block there, and then you can reach for andesite stairs and make these little, make this little pattern like that. Oops, I need to place that one a bit more carefully. Awesome. And then here we've got cobblestone, exactly the same kind of balcony at the back here. So two layers of cobblestone and two layers of andesite. And then you're ready to put in a corner piece and some more of these little decorative bits like that. Right at the back, very similar to what we've been doing already. We're going to go for two layers of cobble and one of cobblestone like that, sorry, andesite, we can provide a little doorway like that and actually just maybe make a little bit of a mudroom or back entrance way there like that. And then some stone sits on top, one, two, one, two, one, two, just like we did round at the front. And then we're nearly, nearly ready for the roof to actually go on. Before we do that though, I do want to uh, come in here and provide the next kind of floor up, the next floor up where we're actually going to be standing and that actual floor is going to be at this level so you're going to be covering up those holes and if you cover up those holes you know you've got the floor at the right level like that 
I'm actually going to put some stone all the way around here just to finish off this decorative little balcony, make it a little bit uh, bigger, and some kind of fake crenellations, fake battlements there. It looks very smart indeed. So hopefully that's all pretty clear so far. Let's move the camera around. Oh, we've got some to do here as well, of course. Uh, probably looks best something like that. All right. Decent, 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 decent. Of course, we were working on this floor back here. Now, where you put the door is kind of up to you. I think I'm going to put the door um, right here. And this is where I realized I've made a slight mistake. I think this is too low. <laughs> Don't! Sorry. Do, 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 do. I would re-record re that, but I've actually not got any time. This is the level that the slabs go on. Don't cover up those holes because they let some nice light into the kind of the basement or the, the room below. It should match up there. So there we go. So now this is the level that we're actually going to have the next floor at. And you're going to bring this right over to our chimney as well. We do have some windows to put in also. We definitely have some windows to put in. Now these bits aren't really going to be seen, so they can just get covered over like that. Yeah, definitely got some windows to put in. In fact, let's put in a window right now just there. And while we're at it, we'll grab some oak trapdoor. It's going to go in there. So hopefully you guys are managing to follow along just like that. Cool. Right, we have another wall to do. Just about forgot about this wall here. Again, we want to come up uh, with some more cobblestone here, like so. But we don't want this wall to be too high. We're going to go cobblestone, cobblestone, uh, then andesite. Then block there, block there, and then we're actually going to put in our andesite stairs at that level. Cool, there we go, that is our teeny tiny little wall. We can also add on our little stone slabs. I love the blending of these stone colors, stone textures, and the andesite, I think it looks pretty smart indeed. We are gonna be blending some of these textures together uh, as well. Let's add in a couple of windows. Gonna go for a little window kind of at this level. It's very, very small, like that. Little window at that level. Um, let's add a little window down here as well. Again, pretty small. Again, kind of matching up my textures uh, as well. Um, what about back here? We could go for a little window maybe just here. Looks all right. Very small windows like that. Uh, we're going to be having another door there, but we're going to put on the roof before we get that done. But this is the point where we need to actually blend our materials together. I'm going to do that with a, a special world edit two tool like this. Yeah, we need to take our cobble and not make it kind of stripey, but just bring it up and just do that. Make it make bring the andesite, bring the andesite down, bring the cobble up and just spread the blocks into each other, bleed the blocks through uh, and into each other like that. There we go pretty smart. Let's take this cobble, bring it right up there, bring this andesite right up into the stone, bring the stone down into the andesite. Same here, just make a few little bits like that, bring the andesite down like that. Just make it look a lot more random than it is. Got some good randomization to do here. Some cobble, andesite coming into the stone, stone coming down, cobble coming right up and through. And the site coming right up there like that. Cool. And the site stone. Have fun. Blend your blocks together like that. And then the next thing you can do is grab some of this stone brick. And this looks absolutely wonderful when you start adding in some stone brick, especially on the corners like that. How cool does that look? I haven't done much blending with this big tower, have I? So let's blend in the andesite and the stone. Add in a few more stone bricks here and there just to make it look random. Couldn't always get completely uniform bricks in kind of medieval times. You'd have to do, use just pretty much whatever 
was available. There we go. That, that patch looks so nice. I love it. We can kind of just divide up that kind of angle there on the tower. Bring those out. Nice one. Bring that corner across and out and up. Wow, this place looks great now. A few more like that. And maybe a couple more just over there like that. There we go. And of course, you could use cracked bricks as well. They look very, very good, especially on things like the chimney. You can maybe replace some of these with some cracked bricks to make it look like it is suffering with all the heat that's being generated. And if you wanted for extra detail, maybe some mossy at the bottom. And of course, you've got also got mossy uh, cobblestone. Sorry, yeah, mossy cobblestone, which looks pretty good as well. Don't forget to kind of mix in a little bit of that as well. You've got some damp patches at the back of your build. Right, definitely now time for our roof. So we're going to place kind of a key block there and there. Once your key block is on, we can run these blocks all the way along. And on this side, we've got a key block there and there. And again, just once those key blocks are on, it makes everything so straightforward. We're adding two stairs each side, plus an upside down. So there's need to do two stairs. There's one. Two. Let's keep on going. Yeah, plus the upside down ones as well, pretty important. Once you get to the upside down ones, it is time for slabs. Bring them over like that. Oh, I forgot to do an upside down one there as well. That's an upside down one, so we've got slab on top. I just love this shape of roof. I think it's such a cool little shape like that. Okay, and then we keep on going slab, 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 slab. And that is our roof finished. Obviously, we've got one more stair to put there. And these slabs need to get pulled all the way through. Technically, these are actually full blocks. And they just get pulled through like that. Same on this side. Pull that one through. And this slab comes right along. Oops. Keeping it like that. Very, very plain roof indeed. Awesome. Right, what else have we got to do? We've obviously got a little bit of roofage on here to do. On the towers. Same on both towers. Easy peasy. Here we go. Looking very smart indeed. So what do we have left to do? with this place. Hmm. Oh, a little bit of roofage down here for sure. Right, <clears throat> so we need our key blocks again. They're gonna go there and there. Once they're in, everything is really straightforward. Two layers of stairs, then some upside downs, and then we're into slab territory. Like that, there we go. Easy peasy. Um, what are we going to do next? Yes, we're going to grab some cobblestone stairs, and these are going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, knock out the middles. This is going to uh, form a little bit of an entrance to our blacksmiths there with some beautiful gates in between. <laughs> there we go, looking very smart indeed. Obviously, you're going to need some steps, or just to bring that out, maybe something like that would look very, very welcoming. Um, I've gone for some iron bars along here. Obviously, the blacksmith makes iron, so that wouldn't be difficult to get. And then the rest of it is pretty much a detail apart from an actual balcony, which is going to go... It's going to be a door into the tower, so the balcony is going to be right here and just link it right up to there. You could put those blocks underneath if you want, or you could do that. Oh, that looks actually quite smart. Hmm. Wish I thought of that before. That is an innovation mid-tutorial. I'm going to wrap these round like this. So I can put some trapdoors on there. And you've got yourself a little cute balcony. We're going to need some um, doors. 
that door is going to get hacked in there and there and that is going to be where you could get up to the tower if you want now don't forget to hide things like bells and lanterns up there as well we've got a little door there we've got our upstairs looking excellent we've got our back balcony looking really smart um, we can make some stairs as well and in we can make some stairs in this corner over here so if we take out those blocks there we can actually start the stair here should we make the stairs out of spruce maybe we'll make the stairs out of spruce for a change there 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 oh we don't really need these blocks here do we we could actually actually take those out do a little turn there so you start to turn and then we can go here I need to take those ones out as well and that's us we are at the top like that little teeny tiny staircase borrowing some bricks from over there actually looks pretty smart do you know what we could do just one last little smidgen of detail is just finish it off nicely like that so we've got a little little staircase like that looking mighty cute go little staircase awesome can we do that actually I think we can do that safely does that work yes fantastic this place looks wonderful I'm really really happy with it let me take you back into the village and we'll show you all the detail that I put into the fireplace sorry into this uh, blacksmith yeah time for some detail and this is how it looks when you've added in details let me take you through the details first of all I've put a little blast furnace in there, an oak stair and some oak fence gates to make bellows. I've added in this simple trap uh, door here to make it as if you could feed the fire with some uh, coal or maybe some wood as well. Obviously plenty of flower boxes uh, all the way around. We've got plenty of lanterns, got some scaffolding to sitting there as well custom player heads and barrels look very good as well I've actually embedded those barrels into the slabs there little flowers on the grass there in the corner um, around the sides plenty of bushes as well by the way I'm using the Stevens traditional texture pack and I'm using BSL latest shaders as well um, kind of like a little fake window there I don't know why that has turned out to be a f why is that a fake window no longer fake <laughs> you can neaten up this area in here actually this probably does need a little bit of neatening up but i don't want to prescribe too much to you when doing this build i guess you can kind of um furnish it and make it up and make it look good yourself as well the the interior detail i don't think is as important as the exterior detail um by the way you could if you want on the inside run these along like that this looks quite smart just to finish off the inside of the roof loving that and then be a couple there as well really makes a fantastic looking staircase i'm so happy with that uh right out, outside detail we've got lanterns obviously hanging around um vines are a great addition as well plenty of bushes a path that's us that is this this is it blue nerd minecraft will be doing the next episode so use the playlist and do check out blue nerds videos he's done the masons he's going to be doing the windmill next and then he's going to be doing the library as well so do check out the playlist it contains both my videos and blue nerds videos it's a joint project and this whole village is going to be downloadable on our patreons as well blue nerd has got a patreon i've got a patreon and we're going to make this entire world here downloadable as well this is my bridge design as well who wants to see my my bridge design turned into a tutorial do you need a bridge tutorial maybe that could be something i work on as well thank you so much indeed for watching i hope you enjoyed the blacksmith uh it's one of my favorite builds ever to be honest being very honest uh very much appreciated you're watching please leave some nice feedback in the comments below and i'll see you next time ciao ciao when the blocks be with you